Aquarius, um, interestingly enough, I had to go ahead and just get started with your reading because your energy just tried to fly out as I was going. And I'm like, well, there you are, you know, uh, coupled up with the Hierophant and the Chariot. So uh, I was like, you know, um, some of you are out here eyeing your own commitments pretty heavily. Moving to the next level with some of you, possibly with a Cancer, possibly with a Taurus. Some of you need to release your ex, by the way. That just popped up under your Romance Angel spread. Okay. Other than that, Aquarius, welcome to your general love reading <laughs> for June 2021. We're just jumping right in, guys. Mercury retrograde and all. I don't care. It's just how we're going to do it. Two cards, please, for Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Take what resonates, leave what does not, Aquarius. General messages only. All right, nothing does resonate with you in this round. Be sure to check your other placements. If not, I'll catch you on the next one. All right, Aquarius. I am using the Wizards to row today to tell your story, clarifying as ever with the Crow to row for the general love readings. All right, guys. It's a good energy on the table for you, Curtis. Um, that's kind of why I just felt the need to like dive right in here. One card of the case. What does the Curtis need to know right now for the highest good piece there? Show the Thank you. All right. The matter at hand does concern marriage, guys, and I think some of you are wanting to. Reconcile, as it were, with partners. So, we shall see. We shall see. That's for some, not all. As I tell it, though, six of cups on the bottom of the deck. Trying to tell you. <laughs> Can't make it up. Alrighty. Nine of cups to the six of cups. It would make you very happy. Some of you, someone... I will say. It came to mind, so I have to say it, guys. Issues of drinking here heavily, okay, kind of affected your marriage. And you see how she's kind of hidden in the shadows here, drinking alone by herself. So, not a true measure of happiness, if you know what I mean. Come on, spirit. This Nine of Cups is serene. She drinks to hide her pain, though. Now, the Six of Cups. Who knows how long you've known this person? I'm guessing a while. I'm feeling it's been a minute. Okay, for the two of you. Alrighty. But, there you are. Wanting to establish, by the way, King of Swords. Okay. To the higher font. Okay. To the chariot. All right. So you're heavily wanting to move forward in your commitments, or even possibly even in a previous commitment. You are kind of faced away from this tor from this higher font. All right. Someone in the past kind of acting kind of selfish here, concerned only about themselves a little bit, you know. But strength for you, Aquarius. At this time, strength. Yeah. A little guarded. Wounded warrior here, nine of wands. The nine of wands here. Okay. So I don't have, my camera doesn't do that automatic focus thing. I wish it, wish it did. I'll have to upgrade here at some point. When I can, guys, you know. Gotta just grow this YouTube channel first. <laughs> oh, hello. Heavy Taurus here. King of Pentacles in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Issue of a coin, I'm sensing. Yeah, the Emperor. In reverse. Alright, someone... Someone can be an asshole. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Someone can be a straight-up asshole when they want to be. Okay. They control the coin. And they control how it's how it's divided out too. Uh, okay, you let me know. 
with the Emperor in reverse to the King of Pentacles in reverse under the split here. I don't really like that energy, guys. I do not, because that's someone kind of acting in an authoritative way, not in everyone's best good. They kind of, oh, you overexert, someone overexerts their power in a situation. Someone also doesn't manage their money very well is what I just heard. Someone. That's for someone, guys. We do have a Taurus sitting right there, okay? But Aquarius, technically, this is all your energy that I'm painting out. But again, reverse energies as it applies here, guys. Okay. You could have a heavy Taurus placement in your chart. If you do all the more clarification for you that this is your reading, otherwise you are straight up dealing with a Taurus or a Cancer. Okay. All right. Your strength is the nine of wands. Okay. <laughs> You're defensive and you're guarded. There's something you don't want to change. What is that? Weakness, please. Okay. Four of Swords. Libra Energy. It's funny, like, you should be resting, but you're not. She should be resting. But she's not. She's hiding. She's at the ready. She's on the corner of this building in shadow. I'm feeling like some of you were someone. You had to do your healing alone. You had to do your healing outside of a connection, and it was rough. It was brutal, I dare say. You didn't even really get to properly rest on your own mental health that needed to happen. You, it's like you were subjected to the elements, as it were. That's the weakness here. Hmm. That's rough. Mm. What's your person doing in the meantime, Aquarius? What's going on? If there is a person, let's see. They're, they're focused on coin or they're straight up focused on coin? <laughs> well, they're off in a brand new beginning here with that ace of pentacles after an ending, possibly here. I'm sensing reconciliation on the board here. Your person is off on a new beginning. And you and they are, yeah, they've closed the chapter. They're off on a new beginning. They've closed the door on the world here and on you, frankly. You're here in the world. You make up the world, all the fixed signs do. Taurus and Scorpio and Leo included, and you. Queen of Swords in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Divine counterpart. Separation. Okay. Separation from a Queen of Swords. Libra energy here. Cold. And this is your divine counterpart. There was separation here. Your person has started a new chapter, a new, a new chapter of their life for the most part. Okay. Straight up. That's just what their energy is telling me. How they feel about the situation. I don't know, but there's a brand new beginning starting over here for them. Okay. A chapter has closed and opened all at the same time on a brand new beginning for this person. This could be you. This could just be a continuation of your thought. Technically you're here. So maybe this is second chance here. Who had that? Who had that? Capricorn had that? Or Gemini? Can't remember. What's the future looking like here? Since we're all off to the future, off to the new world, what's going on? Okay, spirit, did I, now that's either just telling me I didn't get something right or there was something not right in a connection or something not right in something that was spoken. The true pathway is uncertain 
Ace of Swords in Reverse. I don't like that. Why is that Ace of Swords in Reverse? Oh. Oh. Someone realized it was a lie to ask their partner to live in a third party situation. It was dishonest to subject their partner to live in a third party situation. Yeah. Someone decided to put it down. They recognize it. You're putting it down. You're putting down your, the, the, the Knight of Wands to the King of Cups in reverse. Heavy Pisces energy there, or the Scorpio, rather. We do have a Cancer sitting right here. This person. Could be you, could be them. A lot of water and fire all of a sudden showing up for you. There was no truth in a situation. Show me. No love in a situation either. Double aces. Three aces on the board for you now, Aquarius. Over. Hello. And the star in reverse. Look at that. I flipped right to that. The star in reverse. Oh, did you see that? That was actually spiritually funny. What am I not seeing here? It's in the weakness, though. Technically, that's in the Empress. Right under that. <laughs> Everything's in reverse. I don't like it. I don't like it. But there you are, honey. To the point, there you are. I don't like it. Hey, no more growth and expansion in the weakness. So technically, it's just you. And I'm taking it, guys. It's you. I'm going to take your energy, Aquarius. Because that's you. An empress in reverse kind of underlying your spread. What are we looking at here, guys? Libra Taurus energy. Heavy. You let me have done with a Taurus. Got a lot of Taurus showing up for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or is that two? Am I sensing that? Two? Two potential. It is there's three of cups trying to shine out there. Third party situation, you're having to make a choice between two, Aquarius. That's what I felt the need to say. Ooh. Ooh. That's rough. You're kind of in the weakness here. I put you there. I know yep, juggling. Balance going on, juggling. We're making literally, you can't make this shit up. I'm trying to tell you. Juggling. A decision between two. The two of pentacles, okay? And not in your favor, honey. I don't like it. No. No, 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 no. Yeah, nine of wands to that point. In reverse again. You're going to have to let down your guard. If you want one of these offers, you're going to have to make a decision. Which one do you want? Which one do you want? She's holding two pictures in her hand, too. One on land and one in the water. One earth, one water sign. The star! Oh my god. The water bear. Look what she's doing, guys. She's pulling one picture in the water and one picture on the earth. You! Aquarius, for some of you, are about to choose between an earth sign and a water sign. Quite literally sitting right here. Wow. Someone here. Someone. Ooh. 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 Aquarius. That's a lot. You got a lot going on here. Now, this is for some, not all. It doesn't have to be. It could be with someone with heavily earth and fire aspected in their chart. But there's a pathway, and I'm suspecting... Uh, okay, let's go. Let's continue. King of Swords. Really? You're showing low-level interest now? You're addressing us with no passion whatsoever. Page of Wands in reverse. Why did you even show up? Well, don't tell me you didn't show up. You showed up right there. Here you are. I'm going to be dealing with Gemini. You took a blindfold off. Someone took a blindfold off. This Taurus did. You got higher knowledge about something, higher wisdom. You saw something. You saw something. Yes, you did. Eight of Swords, reverse. You saw something. Yes. Yes. The chariot. You saw your own forward movement. Or how to move forward. In a commitment, possibly. 
Show me the chariot. Why is that here? <laughs> Matching equal water for fire here now. Page of cups in reverse. <laughs> the chariot. They need to apologize. Someone needs to apologize here. They do. You gotta make a decision, honey. There is no truth in this connection. Straight up. Someone's guarded. Devil, nine of wands, energy. Guarded. Heavily. Why? Why are we guarded? Blocking the sun. You got the wands up between you and the sun. Ah, uh, of course that was going to come out. Did we really expect it not to come out at this point? The tower? Okay. Whew. Tower! There's no love in this connection. Tower! Someone's being heavily defensive about what they probably just, just negative, okay? Like, you're not, like, someone here is straight up not succeeding. Like, just everything is crashing around them in life, period. And it's like they're getting no recognition, no victory. Nothing they do works. Nothing. Someone is saying, okay? Either you or your person. Like, I can't, I can't catch a break is what someone is saying. I'm in the weakness is what Aquarius is saying. I don't like that. Aquarius? Aqua. Why? Why? What are we overthinking here? We're not, we're not resting our minds. We're spying. Uh, no. Page of Swords. All the pages. You two interact with each other as pages. So either all oh, this is new. Or there's two. You're spying. Someone's spying. I've also felt that need someone, someone's work could be online. You're an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Heavily. What you do requires you to be online. But you watch. Someone watches a lot. They watch their person a lot. Someone... I think they watch you too, Aquarius, I think. But again, this is all your energy. I'm painting your energy, right? This is your person's energy. Reverse rules as it applies, guys. All right? I'm painting the energy, though. So when I say you, obviously I default to you because this is your reading, Aquarius, okay? But don't take anything that is not meant for you. Why would you ever do that? Don't take something that's not yours. Don't do that. Like, why would you do that? If it's not yours, then it's not yours. But if it is yours, and you just don't like to hear what's on the board, then all the more clarification that it's probably a reading. Okay? What this energy is trying to paint, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Because I have no idea why this energy is showing up on my board. Okay? I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't. But... You're meant to learn something, and I am meant to help you learn that thing. Whatever it is, I don't know. Someone wants to understand their own energy, understand their own emotionality, then I want to help that person. Whether you're ending or beginning. Because there's a lot of ending and beginning kind of going on here at the very same time. A tower moment is happening in your own realization of something you should do. And I know this is your energy, Aquarius, because you, your energy, is quite literally backing up this process. So, hopefully, we're here to learn something for you. In the meantime, you're a person kind of looking like their own little brand new beginning over here. With you, could be. Maybe you two did reconcile. Maybe this is all recent past. Technically, it could be. Because you're here with your person the world. And that includes you, Aquarius. You could be dealing with fellow Aquarius, for all I know. But you're here. In your person's world. So something happened here. And it's... Okay, you blocked your intuition on it for a while, or they did. Blocked your own intuition. You didn't see it coming. What didn't you see coming? That tower? High Priestess? Pisces Energy? Thank you. You didn't see the Wheel of Fortune coming. In reverse, it was hidden from you. 
both in reverse. Interesting. Yeah, I think the divine kind of like snatched it out of your hands. You were trying to control the situation too much, Aquarius, or someone. Maybe this person was. Trying to overly control their own fate like you thought you could. Funny. Um, now you contribute. Of course you do. Technically you do. Technically you are in control, Aquarius, but there's some things that are quite literally out of control. Like when a tower comes into your life, that's something you don't have any control over. When the wheel of fortune comes into your life, that's also something you kind of don't have any control over. But both with that being in reverse, though, is trying to tell me that the universe, the divine, kept trying to ask you to cooperate so that it could give you exactly what you wanted, or at the very least, your person, because this is also your person's energy. Let me know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius or a Pisces. But your person here is kind of trying to ignore their own intuition about maybe why this ended in the first place. I think they tried to stick it out with you as long as possible. They were even willing to, but what it's also telling me is they were willing to go into another cycle with you, a whole nother 10 year cycle with you, possibly even just to get it right this time. But there's still no truth in the situation. There's no love in a situation and you're in the weakness. This is why this is so confusing. You see where, why this is coming from. Now I expect to see the wheel of fortune when a tower comes out naturally the wheel of fortune comes out you can almost express expect it like clockwork look at any tarot reading tower comes out wheel of fortune's coming somewhere along with it okay that's just how these two roll their energies are, are side by side pretty much just about okay but there's no truth there's no clear communication or clear pathway between the two of you and no love either despite it being in the strength or you're rebuilding it because you need to put down your five of swords energy this I need to win at all costs despite how it make my, makes my partner feel. That empress in reverse underlying the frickin' spread. No ma'am or sir. Uh, arguing, bickering, all that jazz. Yeah. Four of wands in reverse. You're not celebrating. Broken marriage here. That was a tower? This situation broke your marriage? Because you weren't properly showing each other Love and affection. You know how tempted I am to scrap this whole reading, Aquarius? So tempted. Because I want to see a good outcome for you. Someone has passion. Knight of Wands, more Sagittarius energy. Someone has passion, but for what? Because you have a lot of contradictory energy. Why are you here? I know it's retrograde, you know, guys. Communication's gonna suck. This is all just current energy. You both aren't walking away, though. You're not walking away. Eight of Cups in reverse. No one's walking away, or you're not walking away yet. Advice, please. For eight into eight. Eight of Wands reversed. Definitely an issue with communication with the two of you because I see, and you, I think it's trying to tell you to take your passion elsewhere, Aquarius. Um, for some of you, I'm sensing that this relationship or whatever this was is unsavable, insolvable, not worth saving. The energy literally keeps coming up in reverse, like, don't even bother. You're not walking away, but that's part of you just looking back, too, at the situation that you don't know. You don't personally have your own pathway, Aquarius, that Ace of Swords. You don't have your own personal pathway yet. You need to make it. You need to stop looking back on a connection that has already left you. What is meant for you will never pass you by. Please know that. I don't say that to be hard on anyone because you feel like your person's your person. Someone's pregnant here too. Okay. Someone feels like their person abandoned them. That's what it feels like to me. I'm sorry, honey. That's for some, someone who needed to hear that. Who was in and out. Yeah. Queen of Swords underlying that, that point here. 
Queen of Swords. Uh huh. Yeah. You had to cut out the player mentality here. Okay. The burden that you want to release, yeah, from your past. Six of Cups started with. What do we have? The Six of Cups. Dang it! Dang it! Dang it! Hey. It's a lot. That's a lot, guys. See what's going on with the romance angels here. Can't make it up. Your love life is being affected by children. We also have flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I bet that's what your person's been doing for sure. <laughs> Sorry. But, um, I also kind of have a feeling that's what you need to do. It's time to move on. Your energy, I don't know how you could make heads or tails of this situation, or I'm honestly confused for you. I almost don't even know what to do with your reading, Aquarius. I've never been this confused in your reading. You didn't come out today, by the way. This doesn't even feel like your energy. You did not come out today. I know technically your energy's here, but... Your magician energy did not come out today. I am surprised to see that. Okay, this is unrequited. Devil underlying the Empress. This is unrequited. This is unrequited love here. Oh! Me no like. And your magician energy did not even show up. I've never seen that. Where's the magician, Aquarius? He didn't show up today. You've never not shown up in your reading. I don't care how bad it's gotten. You have never not shown up, Aquarius. So where the hell are you, honey? Where's your magician? I know you're in here. Death, Scorpio. Ooh. Ooh. Where are you? There you are. Magician. Holding back. Four of Pentacles. I know this is not your energy, but this is your energy. It comes up for you. You are the magician, Aquarius. You've been the magician on my channel since day one. Okay? You're on pause. You pause something. You stopped manifesting. Why? You are guarding your heart. Guarding your coin. You're as afraid to let go as you are... You're holding on to something too tightly that you can't hold on to. You're holding on too tightly to something that you cannot hold on to. You're, and it's kind of a lack, it's because of a lack mentality, honey. It's a lack mentality that you have in yourself that many of us have. It's this idea that I'm not enough or that I cannot have enough or that I have to guard and protect what's mine because there may not be enough. And who knows when I will ever get this experience again? Who knows when I will ever have my King of Cups again? Okay? So, you didn't want me to know that. You're dealing with some heavy water energy here, by the way, either Pisces or Scorpio, by the way. It's your energy, but they're not being truthful with you, okay? They're pointed away, pointed away, and you know that. They were pointed at you at one point, Queen of Swords here, okay? They were, but it was a burden you knew you had to release much as that pained you to do so, I think. Yeah. And this this hits home, quite frankly. This is kind of the truth of it, right? You're coming out of it, thank God. I like to see it in reverse. Loneliness. Coming out of it. I know that I am never alone. But this is what you fear. 
You don't want to be alone. You're not. You're not. But I think the moment you figure out how to let go of what's not serving you is the moment you start attracting what is. Stop holding on so tight to something that's just not serving you anymore. This relationship clearly is not. I don't know how anyone could thrive in this, in this environment. Okay. We have dance is your dream card. You could be dreaming about dancing. It doesn't have to be. Move to the rhythm of your soul. This is telling you to find your own rhythm in life, aside from another person. Aside from what the hell, whatever the hell they're doing. All right. Dance to your own rhythm. You know what I mean? You have opportunity to forgive from Doreen Virtue. The situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies, and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. Good. Good. We have anxiety in reverse. Thank God. Thank God. This is essentially the Nine of Swords, guys. And I hate to see that. Number 18. Anxiety in reverse. Thank you. As tough as this has been, Aquarius, and I know, um, I think many of you are going to you're going to pull forward. You're going to do this. And I think every day, the moment you pull forward in this and you release this person's energy day by day, whoever they are, you're going to be, you're going to be gathering a strength for yourself. You didn't even know you had. <clears throat> okay. Finally, relief. This nightmare of a card reverse could mean one of two things, either a recent problem is on its way out, causing you to feel more relaxed, or you have mastered the old habit of worry and have freed yourself from the anxiety within. Either way, anxiety reversed is a good omen of more relaxed, peaceful times to come. Maintain a trusting attitude and let the difficulties and fear thoughts fade away into the distance. The affirmation for this card, Aquarius, is I let go of fear and worry. I assume the best and live in peace. All is well. I let go of fear and worry. I assume the best and live in peace. All is well. Aquarius, kind of a rough one. I'm sending you so much love and light. Like and subscribe at your, as you see fit. I know this was a rough one. Take care, Aquarius. Sending you so much love and light. Be well.